There was never a OnePlus 10, but a few months after it would have made its appearance, we now have the OnePlus 10T. The T-Series is usually a refresh that builds upon this standard lineup, but in this case, what are we getting here? I'm Will for GSM Arena, and let's find out in our OnePlus 10T review. OnePlus has switched things up this year. Rather than releasing a vanilla OnePlus 10, they came out with just the OnePlus 10 Pro. And now in the T-Series, we get the OnePlus 10T, but no Pro model. The result here is a phone that's in a different class than the 10 Pro, and while it's better in some ways, in others it's not quite as good. Let's start off though with the design. The back is made of Gorilla Glass 5, and you have a choice of either a textured black finish or a glossy ceramic-like one, which we have here. The square camera bump wraps around the edge and looks quite similar to the one on the OnePlus 10 Pro. A major difference here on the 10T though is that the frame is made of plastic, not aluminum. One staple OnePlus feature, the alert slider, is now gone as well. Another way in which the two models differ is the display. The OnePlus 10T has a 6.7 inch AMOLED with a 1080p resolution, Gorilla Glass 5 protection, and a 120Hz refresh rate. This is in contrast to the more advanced panel on the 10 Pro. It's the same size, but curved, with a QHD resolution, Victus protection, and a more adaptive refresh rate, thanks to LTPO2 technology. While you do get a similar smooth experience here when swiping, the refresh rate will only dial down as low as 60Hz, and you wouldn't in theory save as much energy while idling. The 10T's AMOLED panel is of course very contrasty, and while it's not as sharp as the Pro's, it's sharp enough. You get 10-bit color and HDR10 Plus support, and while the colors are vibrant out of the box, you can adjust them to be accurate through settings. Brightness is respectable here too. We measured a maximum of around 520 nits with the manual slider, and this boosts up to 820 nits in auto mode when in bright sun. For audio, the OnePlus 10T packs a pair of stereo speakers, with the earpiece acting as the second one. They earned a score of very good in our loudness test, and the sound quality is well-rounded, with bass that's a bit more noticeable than on the 10 Pro. And you can get the OnePlus 10T with 128 or 256 gigs of storage. That's not expandable though. You can wake up and unlock the phone with an optical under-display fingerprint reader. It's fast and reliable. And one neat trick is that you can hold down your finger to launch a quick shortcut menu. The interface of the phone is OnePlus's Oxygen OS 12.1 on top of Android 12. These days, the software looks just like Oppo's Color OS and Realme's Realme UI. Still, there isn't much bloatware, and the interface feels fast and fluid. In terms of software support, the OnePlus 10T should get major OS updates up to Android 15, and four years of security updates. One way in which the OnePlus 10T is an upgrade from the quote-unquote previous model is the chipset. You get the new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 here, which means that performance in benchmarks is a bit higher. There's also a high-performance mode, which will grant a boost to the CPU scores, and with this on, the 10T sits near the top of the charts. Sustained performance is impressive here too, thanks to an advanced passive cooling system that's much larger than the 10 Pro's. There was some gradual thermal throttling during the hour-long stress test, but much less than what you'd see on other phones running flagship silicon. Another way in which the OnePlus 10T outperforms the 10 Pro is with the charging speed. The capability here is a huge 150 watts, and the charging brick comes in the box. With it, we were able to charge the OnePlus 10T from zero to completely full in just 19 minutes. The Pro model wasn't slow, but a full charge there took 32 minutes. A downside here though is that you don't get support for wireless charging. Battery life is a bit different too, as the 10T has a smaller 4800mAh battery capacity. It does a good job though, managing to score an endurance rating of 96 hours in our proprietary tests. The cameras are one feature in which flagships typically excel over mid-rangers, and here you can really feel that this is not a pro-level device. The OnePlus 10T has a typical mid-range setup, with a 50-megapixel main cam, an 8-megapixel ultra-wide, and a 2-megapixel macro camera. During the day, the main camera is quite capable. There's plenty of detail, and the rendition is sharp and gritty. There is a fair bit of noise, but the overall result is likable. Colors are vibrant, and dynamic range is reasonably wide, but will prioritize highlights over shadows. The OnePlus 10T doesn't have a telephoto zoom like the 10 Pro has, 
but at least at two times magnification, the results from the digital zoom are usable. Portraits look good, with excellent subject detection and competent HDR. You also have the option to take a zoomed portrait, at the expense of some fine detail. The 8 megapixel photos from the ultra wide bring an average level of detail, on par with what you'd get on other midrangers. Like the main cam, there is some graininess here, and the exposure metering is biased toward preserving the highlights, which could leave some dark shadows. 2 megapixel photos from the macro cam are just about what you'd expect. The perspective is nice, but the quality isn't great. If the light is low enough, the OnePlus 10T will automatically apply night mode processing. The resulting photos have excellent dynamic range, low noise, and likable saturated colors. The level of detail is very good, but the sharpening is a bit unnatural looking. In the cases that the night mode doesn't kick in, there's more noise but also more detail. The dynamic range is still decent too. However, since the night mode is automatic, you can't achieve this sort of shot whenever you want to. The ultra-wide camera also has an automatic night mode, and the results are respectable. The exposure and dynamic range are very good, colors don't suffer from desaturation, and the detail is okay, if you manage your expectations. Selfies from the 16 megapixel front-facing cam have excellent dynamic range and saturated colors. The detail level could be better, but these are overall still solid. The OnePlus 10T can record video in up to 4K at 60fps with this main camera. The video quality is great, with an excellent level of detail and natural rendition. There's plenty of contrast, and colors are vibrant, yet likable. The ultra-wide does a decent job, even though it is capped at 1080p resolution. There's a respectable level of detail, and even more contrast and punchier colors than the main cam. Electronic stabilization is always on. We've seen better smoothness when it comes to walking, but the 10T still does a nice job when it comes to pans. So that's the OnePlus 10T. It's an upper mid-ranger that actually holds up pretty well compared to the 10 Pro. It's not the most well-rounded package. You can find competitors with better cameras, wireless charging, and ingress protection. But what you do get here is super fast wired charging, and the latest flagship chipset with an effective cooling system. And if those are features you're looking for, then the OnePlus 10T is worth recommending. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe and see you on the next one.